We are being asked to solve this conditional equation, x squared plus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0, which means we're trying to find the values of x that make this equation true. And we're going to do so using the PQ formula. Now, if you're interested in how to derive this formula, please check out my video on how to prove the PQ formula. Well, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to point out here is that the coefficient of our x term is 6, and the constant coefficient is 5. Now, this is important because we are going to be abstracting these values. So, in general, the coefficient of the x term is represented by p, and the coefficient of the constant term is q. And we need to do this so we can make use of the PQ formula, which says that we can find the values of x by taking negative p over 2. Then we have two cases, so plus or minus the principal square root of p over 2, and that will be quantity squared minus q. What we need to do now is take our specific values and substitute them into this formula. So what was our value of p? What was our coefficient of the x term? Well, that was 6, so we're going to substitute that in. Next, we need to substitute our value of q, which is 5, and all the substitution is done. So all that's left is to evaluate this right expression. So we're going to take this slow. We have 6 divided by 2, which gives us a value of 3. Then we have 6 divided by 2 again, which is 3. Now we can go ahead and evaluate 3 squared, which is 9. Evaluating the radicand here, 9 minus 5 gives us a value of 4. Now it turns out we can actually evaluate the principal square root of 4 as an integer, which is 2. It is now time to consider both our cases. Our first case is where we're going to have x is equal to negative 3 plus 2. And our second case is where we're going to have x is equal to negative 3 minus 2. Evaluating our case 1, we get x is equal to negative 1. Evaluating case 2, we see that x is equal to negative 5. And therefore, we can write the solution set to this conditional equation as negative 1, negative 5. So those are the two values that will make our equation true. My name is Mark, and thank you for watching.